Okay, so a couple of students asked this question from the homework. This is 13.2 um, about uh, the applications of integration. So it talks about the marginal revenue of a, of a producing X gadget is given by a function. So what is given is a marginal revenue function. And what is asked is to find the revenue function. So the first thing we need to remember is that the marginal revenue is nothing else than the derivative of the revenue function. So that means that to, in order to find the revenue function, we need to find the antiderivative of this function that's getting right here. So to do part A, all we have to do is solve, um, we want to integrate the 4x times x squared plus 25,000 to the minus 2 thirds. And then this is in 13.2, so we already know by now how to do integration by u substitution. And um, so that's what we have to do here. We need to be careful that our u in this case would be this part of the function right here. Put this, this is going to be my u. So if I call u to be x squared plus 25,000. Uh, then du will be 2x dx. And like I said in our other video where I did a couple of examples of u substitutions, I like to solve for the, what I have here. So I have, I have, let me change color here. I have an x and a dx. So those two bars together, x dx, will be one half of du. Correct? So I solve for x dx. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. There's many ways to do this, but this is, I think, the most um, the, the the method that would take less errors later down the road. Okay, so then I have everything to solve for. I think I can now put all the pieces together. Uh, this becomes um, u to the negative two thirds x dx is one half of the u. So put that in green one half of the u. And the four is still there, so I can I'm not gonna write that four, I'm gonna keep it there. Put the four outside if you want. No, to the five with the with the other part I guess. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is now so 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 let's see let's see all the others together. So I have u to negative two thirds and then I have x dx which is one half of the u and the four is outside. Okay so now let's just do one color and I really have just the integral of uh, 2 uh, u to negative 2 thirds du. Who would be the antiderivative of this? Well, that would be, of course, uh, 2 times u to the negative 2 thirds plus 1, which becomes a positive 1 third, then divided by a third, which is the same as multiplied by 3. Right? So I'm going to put a 3 right here. Let me divide by a third in the next step. And then we need to add a constant. So this becomes uh, 2 times a 3 over 1, uh, u to the 1 third plus c. So really this is just 6 times u to the 1 third plus c. We're there. We're almost there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not done finding the Verney function yet. I have a couple things to do. I need to go back to say who is u. So instead of u here, I need to put back my x squared plus 25,000, and I still need to find out uh, who the c is, right? And that when to, to find a c, we're going to use this fact, that they're giving us the revenue function from 125 gadget is 56,000, okay? So let's see if I can do that. I don't want to erase this, so let me see if it fits right there. So a couple of things I'm going to write here. I'm going to write, um, so my revenue function so far becomes 6 times x squared plus 25,000 to the one-third plus a constant. And then we know that the revenue function when plugged in 125 should be uh, 56 to, to 60. Now, be careful. Something to be important here is that the marginal revenue is already in thousands. So I'm not going to put 56,000 here. I'm going to put 56.26. Okay. 
back to 61, right? So this is telling you right there's important the revenue function is already in thousands of dollars. So this is something that that probably a little mistake. Some people on the exam had in the last question. I didn't penalize you too much for that, but tend to be careful with the units. Okay, the units don't make sense. So you have to take care of that. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that if I plug in, uh, let me change colors to know what's going on. So that means that if I plug in um, uh, 125 for X, I should get the 56.261. Okay, so then we, should, we, we can do this and we do that. Um, we do the math for this part. I have my calculator right here next to me. And I do 56 minus this. I end up having um, this quantity gives me uh, 206.21. So when you subtract, you get that the C is approximately negative 150. Uh, 0 0.01, but I think it tells to round, so that's 1 negative 150. So finally, we have a revenue function. So this is how you find your constant, and your function becomes uh, 6 times x squared plus 25,000 to the 1 third minus 150. That's the work for part A. Okay, so that's part A. Let me scroll up so we can see what happened. Now we got this one covered, the revenue function. Now, what is the revenue from selling 250 gadgets? So very simple, now just plug in, plug in 250, right? And for part B, you do R when you plug in 250 in here. And I have my calculator. Uh, you can do this easily in your calculator. And I have um, when you plug in at 250, you get 116.37. So uh, if you want to write the answer in, uh, in dollars, this would be 116,000, right? $307. Uh, part 